So on this Android Studio tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this scratch view. And essentially, you can use it to make a scratch card. I just used the silly Batman photo because that's all I could find on my PC. But you can put whatever images you like. I used the star as a reward system. And it says you want a star as a toast message at the bottom. But let's get started immediately by going to our Gradle file and going to our Gradle project. And under the old project section, you are going to want to go to this website where I will leave a link in the description to pick up these dependencies. One is for the Maven URL, which takes a jitpack.io and that one goes placed right under the old project section. And then we're gonna to go to our other build.gradle file. And here we are going to insert the dependency under the dependency section. So we'll just add this implementation right here at the bottom. And after that, we're going to want to go and click sync now and wait for it to sync. And as soon as Gradle's done syncing, we are going to go straight to our drawable file and we are going to add a new vector asset. And you can pick essentially any vector assets you desire. I just went for a cache symbol. I took a bit of time to pick the right shade of orange because they are yellow. They all disturbed me to a certain extent. So I just had to make sure it was right. And then you are going to want to find a file, an image file on your PC and add it to the drawable file. This is going to be the overlay for the scratch view. I would recommend like a scratch card texture or something, I don't know. And then right in our XML, I changed our layout to a relative layout. I added an image view, set it to 300 dp, added an ID of image image view and added a source as the dollar symbol. And immediately under that, I went ahead and created a scratch view component where I added an ID of scratch view. And the most important part to note is this app section where it says app overlay width and height and the image resource. This is gonna act as an overlay for the previous image view and you can just scratch it away. And that's essentially what's happening. Next, we are going to want to create a scratch card. So I just created an empty method there and we are going to just create it immediately under. So let's just type scratch view dot set reveal listener and give an object as a scratch I reveal listener. We're gonna right click to implement the methods. And finally, we can go straight to our uh, on reveal percent change listener where we can log our percent change. And I just wrote percent dollar sign percent. And if percent is gonna be more than 50%, which is 0.5 F, we're gonna reveal the scratch view. And that is one of the methods included in this dependency. And on our on reveal method, we can actually add whatever you want to happen when they reveal it. It can be a toast message like I inserted there. And I also just wanted to get rid of the view. So I just did uh, scratch view gone, but uh, the, the reveal method that's included on this does that automatically. But uh, yeah, that's, that's essentially what you'll get at the end of this. It's a very fast uh, scratch card to create. I just created one component of it. It's up to you to create the other two to actually make the full scratch card. But it's really cool, very simple. And uh, the one more thing I wanted to show you in case you don't want it to disappear at 50% is if we just delete that part of code and just add the toast message instead, it will just stay there until the end and you can implement whatever method you want. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.